Hi guys and welcome back to Tax TV. Thank you for joining us. Have a happy Friday to you all. It's the weekend. I uh, hope you've all had a good week uh, and hopefully looking forward to the weekend. And of course, England playing Scotland tonight, which will be a very interesting uh, fixture. Um... Anyway, before we get talking, uh, please make sure you subscribe to Tax TV and give this video a thumbs up as well as hitting the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos that uh, that we post uh, on here. So, uh, yeah, well, we'll get straight talking about what we're going to talk about, guys. Um, Valley and Ishmael today, um, as it's come on, on the Sky Sports website, that West Bromwich Albion um, have asked for permission to speak to Valeria and Ishmael about their vacant uh, manager's uh, job. Uh, obviously, Sam Allardyce left after their relegation from the championship and they wanted to speak. They've asked Barnsley permission to speak to Valley and Ishmael. Um, does it come as a surprise? No, not really, because of what Valley and Ishmael did for us last season, bringing us into fifth place. Um, and, you know, like players as well, you know, there's always going to be the those clubs higher up the end um, that are always going to come come at teams like us. I mean, I agree to a certain extent with a comment I saw on, on social media about us being we're a shot winder, you know, we're a shot winder type of club, do you know what I mean? In a, in a way, you know, um, from what I gather, there's a £2 million compensation for Valley and Ishmael services. So, I mean, that money invested correctly would you know, go a long way, hopefully. Um, but I think it's more important keeping the manager here. But, of course, you know, it's always going to be tough. You know, West Brom, uh, always up and down Premier League type of club. Um, and I can understand why they, they're, they're interested in him. Um, it's now up to whether what Barnsley decide and, you know, if we, can let, uh, if we do allow him to speak to West Brom, I mean... Like I said, you know, there's Ishmael's done a fantastic job since he's been here. There's no getting away from that. The the squad that we had, you know, the um, the the rec the recruitment with players, etc. I know some of those as the board's players as well. But in terms of what he's done, not just for how we finished, but how he did with players, your Mads Andersons, your Toby Sibics. Uh, Victor Adebayejo, for an example, you know, those types of players who, you know, got absolutely, you know, quite rightly, and I say quite rightly, got um, a lot of stick the season before, you know, they weren't achieving, they weren't performing, they weren't achieving what we wanted them to do, he's come in, you know, believed in those players and got them playing at a level that, you know, during that season, the Stendhal Struber season, that you would never have thought they would have. Uh, Sibic as well, you know, very young player, uh, thrown in at the deep end as was Mads Anderson and, and he's come in, believed in them and, and done stuff like that. So th th there's lots of different things why other clubs are looking at Ishmael. I mean, Palace, you know, have been were rumoured at, at one point, obviously he's an ex-Palace player, he had a short spell there. I know West Brom were looking at she former Sheffield boss Chris Wilder as well. Um, nah... You know that 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 to me, you know, it, Wilder. You know, he's a very um, very good manager. I've always liked Wilder. I know he's an ex Sheffield manager. He's a Sheffield supporter, but I, we have to credit him. He's a very good manager. Uh, is Chris Wilder, uh, and I know that they were looking at David Wagner as well, former Huddersfield boss, who uh, has apparently uh, talks have broken down there and everything like that. So they are looking at Ishmael. Um, some fans on social media seem to think it's already done, it's a done deal. But listen, we've got to be, we've got to see, you know, we can't just say he's off, blah, blah, blah. We've got to see what happens. You know, he might not want to go. I'd like him to show a bit of commitment. I would. I would like him to show that a bit of commitment to, to the football club, having got us this far, you know, seeing where we can go again. It it's all goes back to that exact same question. It's that exact same question is, where are we going to go? Where do we want to aim at as a football club? West Brom's target is promotion. West Brom's target is the Premier League. But what is Barnsley's? You know, Barnsley's is obviously going to be avoiding relegation again. And I say that, listen, I say that because I do think we, we overachieve to a certain extent. I do. You know, with the squad we had, I thought we did fantastic. Um, but I think our level was certainly mid-table and avoiding relegation. You know, we've got to we've got to add to that this season. We've got to add to it this this upcoming season, and we've got to make sure that we get the players in to be able to keep the manager here, to keep him happy, to give him a group of lads that are willing to go on again. Because the second season 
can always can always be an hard can be harder. I mean, fans will be back in stadiums as well. You know, our away form was sensational. I I, I kept saying it week in week out. I fancied us away from home more than I did at home last season. But with fans back in the stadium, it's a totally different board game. Uh, it, it it is. It's 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 it, it's it's different when fans are there and I think you know I think it benefited Barnsley a lot not having fans there and I think at home that's why at home I said even though we were okay at home I thought with we we missed having our fans at home but away from home it helped us so it were, it were a tricky one it were a tricky one but at the end of the day you know West Brom are looking at him we've got to see what happens in the next few days of course and maybe weeks and everything but I'd like him to still be here for next season I would just to keep that stability um, because that's that's the thing you you know chopping and changing managers after every season or after 12 after you know I don't know how many months 6 7 months you know it, it's not good we you, we always say on here that stability is key and you know he brought a lot of stability do you know with the full near enough a full season under us and 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 bringing the the group of lads together and you could tell they were together and you could tell from you know the moment they were here how much they were fighting for each blade of grass for each other on that pitch um so yeah you you've got to see that and then i've seen some saying oh another relegation battle that's not necessarily the case that's not necessarily the case, you know. If he goes, you know, I mean, you know, we, we've not got to, we've, we've got to remember, you know, that nobody expected him to do that. So if we get somebody else in, if he does go, you know, ooh, you can't, you, you've got to see what happens. You can't, you can't just, you know, say, oh, it's Darby down again. So as soon as he goes, do you know what I mean? I'd, I'd listen. If if anything, you know, we we should we should be prepared to go ready to go no matter who's in charge but i can understand that you know the 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 driving seat is the manager and um you know the way he set us up and everything and he made us a very good solid team and an hard team to beat let's not get, let's get that straight we, we were very hard to beat especially that second half of the season you know we were very very solid and we just fell at the final hurdle in the playoffs and uh it were a shame but it is where it is. But we've got to see. We've got to see. And we've got to, again, similar to the Mowat, similar to us as fans, you know, we've got to show what we're going to do. I mean, Dave Murphy, as well as being reported to be going to Nottingham Forest. So, again, that's somebody, another figure leaving the football club who, you know, you, you're then losing that stability in that in that, that area. But, uh, and, 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 you know, I think, I don't know how long, Dave Murphy, you know, he's been here, just over a year, well, over a year now. Um, when did he? Leave? When did he? When did we get him, Dave Murphy? I can't even remember. But we've we've just got to try and see what we can do, guys. When when West Brom come in like that, I mean, they're a club that will spend money. They're a club that will attract players, champ, good, very good championship players, and they're a club that will look at trying to gain promotion back to the Premier League. And you know, you can't roll your eyes at that. It does as Barnsley fans, yeah, it's. It, it it almost becomes old news really that this happens every season at the end of every season before the the start of a new season it's what happens we, we almost, I'm almost used to it now so um we will see time will tell but if it will we, I'd like to see some loyalty but you know and 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 to, and that stability but you know we're just fans we don't know what goes on behind the scenes do we so uh thank you for watching guys i look forward to reading your comments get in the comments and let me know as well as giving this video a thumbs up and i will see you tomorrow where we're going through to Oakwell to buy the new t-shirt new t-shirt god new shirt new kit well the shirt i'm not getting the full kit i'm not being a full kit person uh full shirt full c Next season's home shirt for next season. I think I might get the training top as well because that training top looks really nice. Um, so, yeah, guys, thank you for watching and let's let's keep an eye out and let's hope that he stays. And come on England tonight against Scotland. And I'll see you all very soon, guys. You Reds.